Hey everybody, it's Andy Timmons. I'm here at the beautiful Guitar Sanctuary in McKinney, Texas. And I'm gonna chat for a little bit today about my, uh, my signature Carl Martin compressor. Um, I've been using the Carl Martin compressor on my pedal board for, I don't know how many years, at least five or six years. And it's always, if you hear any, time, any kind of clean tone that I have, that's always engaged. Um, and what I loved about the pedal initially, not it wasn't really I was using it so much as a compressor, but really as kind of a loud boost, right? Um, it had a really nice um, volume boost within within the preset you could you could dial in. So I would dial that, and not really given the squishy kind of classic compressor sound. But along the way, um, I would occasionally want that real squishy, you know, jangly, you know, '60s pop, '70s pop kind of tone. And uh, so I would have to reach down and change all the controls to get that kind of tone, which it does amazingly well. Um, but then you're kind of having to, to do too much stuff in the, in, the, in the scope of a performance. So I had the idea, well, maybe we could do a two-channel compressor and toggle between the two sounds. And that's what they, uh, over the course of the last couple of years, uh, helped design. So and it's available now. So my uh, Andy Timmons signature Carl Martin double comp, they call it. And so I thought I would just give you a couple ideas of, of how I set the two different uh, settings and give you some examples of uh, the tone and how it uh, enhances what I'm trying to get. So initially, I've got it on the setting that's really not so much compression. I've got just a little bit of compression on but it's mainly a loud boost. So let me play for a second with the, this is just the Carl Martin in front of the Mesa Boogie Lone Star, uh, my timeline and the effects loop. So just pure, clean amp tone and the Carl Martin engaged. So it sounds like this. Turn the pedal off now, you'll hear. It's obviously a significant uh, front end hit on, on that preamp. The amp sounds amazing on its own, and I could compensate for the volume by turning the amp up. But I like, I like the, uh, the feel of, of hitting that front end of the amplifier with significant gain. So. So it's giving me, you know, not so much compression sustain, but just however the tubes are compressing. So kind of a different vibe on that. So and not compressing too much to where I don't have dynamic within the notes because if you over compress, sometimes you're losing some of the, the peaks and, and valleys that uh, I like to have in a dynamic line. So everything's just not... So still plenty of dynamic, um, but just a bolder, fatter tone, right? Um, so then there's the occasions where uh, I want to hit it even harder and get more of that, the more the classic compression kind of tone that you might think of with, uh, you know, Roger McGuinn with the birds or the Andy Summers kind of police tone. And normally I'll want to use that with a straight single coil pickup, and I'll grab another guitar in a second. But even even with the humbuckers that I have the, in the in my old Ibanez custom guitar here, it's an AT1 humbucker in there, Demarzio Cruisers. Um, so let me hit the other channel, and it's also cool. It's got a, a quarter inch uh, jack on there where you can change the channels via your remote switching. And I've got the uh, the awesome Gig Rig G2, the Daniel Steinhardt design. And so on a different preset, I can I can have either either the, the soft uh, volume compression or the heavy compression. So now I'm gonna to switch to the other heavier. And then...
grab a, a, an Ibanez that's got some uh, single coils in it here. This lovely new Talman guitar. Okay, here let's go back to the, uh, the original just volume boost setting. <laughs> boost that I originally had on the AT, but now let me switch to a bit more heavy. Really great for those, um, you know, chimey, ringy, single coil kind of tones. It's also the tone that I'll use when I do any kind of, kind of country chicken picking. cruisers on my AT100. Um, so, and the flexibility of being able to go back and forth between the two is just, just brilliant and it saves me lots of uh, pedal dancing and, and knob twiddling in the middle of a gig, right? So check it out. It's, it's available, the double comp uh, by Carl Martin. Hope you dig it. Thanks a lot. Yeah.